I'm Tyler Bronson. I'm with Gary Brown of the Southern Marin Blue Crabs, former player for the San Francisco Giants. Now, Gary, ever since you were drafted by the Giants in 2010, you kind of had that top prospect label on you. Was that something that ever concerned you, or you ever felt you need to live up to that status at all? Uh, you know, the honest question would be, or the honest answer would be a little bit, but, uh, you know, I try not to let it get to me, and, uh, you know, it, it did a little bit, but, you know, that's what I'm here doing is learning and trying to grow. Definitely. Now, you were selected to the Futures game in 2011 that was played at the Diamondback Stadium in Arizona. What stands out to you from that game, and just what do you remember feeling being on a big league field for the first time? Oh, it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of good guys there, and it was just an honor. Definitely. You made your major league debut in 2014 with the Giants. Finally got your first hit against San Diego in the last like week of the season. You've been with the team for a few weeks prior. So was that good to finally get that, let's say, monkey off your back, so to speak? And where do you have the ball saved now? Uh, definitely. It was awesome. It was actually a bunt, and my grandpa always talks about bunts, so I gave him my first ball. Um, but, uh, no, it was, it was awesome. I mean, you know, you play your whole life for that, and to get that opportunity was, was unbelievable. Definitely an awesome story. Now, the Giants, in my opinion, they have one of the best fan bases in baseball. What was your experience with Giants fans from, say, the minor league days all the way to the major league days? Yeah, there was nothing but class and just pure uh, fanatics. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, great fan base. And I still have some people reach out to me and, okay. and uh, <laughs> you know, follow me, which is awesome. It's great. Yeah, definitely. Now, you've also spent time in the Angels and Cardinals system before coming to Southern Maryland last year. You're back for your second year. Do you feel the need to take on some sort of leadership role for the Blue Crafts this year? And how do you think they can face against the talent the rest of the Atlantic League offers? Uh, no, you know, we got a good group of guys, and it's fun. We're just having a good time, and uh, I think we got a really good team, and uh, we're going to compete. Definitely. Now, something unusual about you is you like to hit without batting gloves. Okay. Is that something you've always done and is there another reason besides comfort that you do it no yeah I just I, I don't really remember ever wearing batting gloves I think I once or twice as a kid but uh yeah you know I just always picked up the bat and went and uh you know I, I got a better feel with no batting gloves on to wrap it up I just want to ask you about a few the teammates you've had in your career because you've played with some of the best players that are in the game currently so one guy you played with Bryce Harper played with him in the Arizona Fall League and the Futures game what did you see from Bryce and how well did you kind of get to know Bryce at all yeah, I mean, Bryce is obviously very talented, and it was uh, very apparent back then. And, I mean, he's he's uh, coming to his own, and he's playing unbelievable. And, I mean, it's it's awesome to watch those guys do what they're doing. Definitely. Now you're with another superstar on that team, Mike Trout, mm -hmm. also a uh, futures game as well. So, I mean, did you see that star potential in Mike as well? And the same question, kind of like how well did you get to know Mike? Yeah, I think everybody saw both those guys, you know, with, with such talent and I mean, what they're doing is no surprise, you know, and it's it's very cool uh, to to have played with them, and hopefully I'll get another chance. But uh, it was it was awesome to watch them play. Final question for you: I just want to ask you about Buster Posey. I know he's been a staple for the Giants for a while. Can you just talk about him and some of his leadership abilities? What, what really makes him a great leader? Yeah, he's quiet confidence. He leads by example, and um, you know, he you don't ever see him too flustered, and it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, that whole clubhouse is an awesome clubhouse, and. You know, quiet leaders, and, and uh, they all just uh, have class and play well and uh, good camaraderie. Thank you, Gary. All the best to you this yeah, season. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.